There's another one over there. Run away, quickly, quickly, quickly. Back to the base, back to the base, back to the base. It's coming. Ah. We're going down, we're going down, long here, long here. I don't think he's fate chasing us. We're good, we're good, we're good, 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 good. And back. Oh. Well, I'm put them in here. In fact, if we just put we already have a chest plate, but we do need that sword for all that sort of good stuff. Bread is helpful, we put it up there. But we can get to the next achievement by getting diamonds, by picking it up. And if I just walk over here, throw it away, and oh, I got diamonds. Look at that. All legitimate, not from anywhere. It's all good. Hello. Everybody, welcome to Down Under. This is Ellipse with your tutorial and let's play. Uh, today we are doing two achievements. We got the diamond achievement. Let's have a look. Diamonds! Acquire diamonds with your iron tools. Well, we used an... No, we didn't use an axe. We should have used an iron axe to get them. That would have made that make much more sense. We're going to get that achievement and then one other achievement we're going to get is the repopulation achievement. We're going to start gathering our animals. So back into first person view, if you were not familiar, that's using the F5 function. Oh, sun's going down. Let's let's grab some wheat. At least two pieces. Uh, five. Let's go for five. Replant it because we're good neighbors, borrowing their food, and we need to find cows now. It's night time, let's sleep through the night so the monsters don't come. But at the same time, let's let's make some uh, walls. These are cobblestone walls. Now, if you saw that I, all of them appeared there, that's because I shift clicked it. I created the recipe and I held down shift and left clicked on the item and it brought it down. And we're also going to need oops, some wood. That should be enough. We use this to make a gate. How do we do a gate? Across there and here. Yeah. Nope, that's a fence. Fail. Now, in my defense, they did change the recipe. So I had the right recipe. Let's just make four of them. That's good. Okay. Oh, it was definitely dark enough. Let's get this torch up here. There we go. Have a sleep before all the monsters come out. And let's. Build a little. Um, oh, see, there's a monster. Now, here's something you should know. Normally, a zombie would a zombie would burn in the sun, but because he's in water, he's not burning. So he was much more dangerous. He'll get over here and hurt us, but we can avoid that. So I filled up my water bucket and. There he is. Now I'm going to do something tricky with my water bucket. I'm going to use it to clear the, the grass for me. Come on, this way. 
clears the grass, pushes over the blocks, and creates any seeds if there's seeds in that grass. Just clears it without me having to knock down every single block. Alrighty, oh there we go, nice bigger area. Oh, with some zombie flesh, the zombie drop for us. Zombie flesh is a food item that's edible but can poison you, which is not recommended. Let's show you. Oh, didn't poison me that time. Oh, that is a random chance, so that's okay. So now let's just do a smallish pen. You'll see that this is not a full cobblestone block. There you go, it does join into them, but by itself it's definitely smaller. But unlike a cobblestone block, you cannot jump a fence. It is considered in game about one and a half blocks, I think. Just to there, there we go. Now that is why we're going to need these gates. There we go, they connect up to them. Now if we open them, it's as if uh, there's no resistance, there's no hitbox for those squares. We can walk right through, and our friendly cows will also walk right through. Now, let's go over here. Having wheat out is attractive to cows and sheep. So they will want to follow you if you are near them. Pigs only like carrots, and chickens like seeds, grass seeds. Nothing attracts those squids. Alright, this way you're not being imprisoned and tamed at all. There we go, follow, follow, follow. Close, close. Close, close. And then holding the wheat, I can right click two of them. It uses up two of my wheat and they breed and I get the achievement repopulation. There you go. Okay, move aside. Stay there. Okay, so in about five minutes, I believe, they'll be ready to repopulate. And in 10 minutes, this will grow into a mature cow. Then I'll have two breeding pairs and be able to get two babies next time. So let's put the wheat away, seeds away, keep the carrots for now. But we have some. Now we have carrots. Oh, we should get those pigs. Now, do we want to have our um, pig farm near these guys? Let's move them over this side. Ooh, chickens, but we can get them as well. Hmm. Let's click the C in case we do want to get them. All right, pigs aren't as useful as cows, so I won't need as many, so I'll make a smaller smaller area for pigs, and there we go. So, hello Mr. Pigs. There are what, one, two, another one over there. All we need is two to start our own little herd. One, two. Excellent, let's cross. Oh, I don't need to swim, I can cross over there. Oh. This chicken has laid an egg. Let's gather that. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Chicken? No, he does not mind. Okay, now, if I stood over there with a carrot, the pig would swim directly to me, which is very slow. But if I stand over here, Mr. Pig, I have a carrot. I have a carrot, Mr. Pig. Look, we can put it on the ground. I have a carrot. Out of water. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, straight towards me. Towards me. Look how derpy these pigs are with their eyes pointing in the opposite direction. I'm pretty sure most of the animals are derpy, but pigs in particular look derpy to me. Oh, single file means they can get through nicely. I will close it while I'm breeding. Then, while they're just busy paying attention to each other, I'll scamper out, leaving a little pig. Alright, let's do one more little hutch. Here we can do this one attached to the back of our house. So our last quick fence, see if we can get this chickens. Now, unlike the other animals, we need to start with at least two, a breeding pair to start a flock. You only need one chicken. And the reason for that, of course, is that the chickens lay, lay eggs and you can use those eggs 
Now, if an animal does not seem to want to find you, you can always just push them. Come on, this way. And once they're close enough and on the same level, they see you and pay attention to your food. You don't want to get too far away from them because then they lose interest in what you're offering them. Push, 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 in, in, done. You just know what to make with, but yeah, have a reward. Okay, let's have a look. Mm, it's a good start. We have pigs, chicken, cows, sheep are the next farming animal, which are important. I don't know if we have any sheep nearby. Let's kill these squids and get their ink. Ink and experience they offer us. Alright, let's just go across to see if there's any sheep in sight. No, there's more reeds. No, you can see that I have a short render distance on this map. Uh, that's mostly because when you record it uh, takes a bit more energy of your computer. So a little scouting mission for sheep. If I want to go around quickly, I run and jump. Once again, running it's double tap. Oh, we have mushrooms and other biomes nearby. I think in our next episode we'll have a look at the biomes around and see what is in our vicinity. But considering our achievements, we will finish up shortly. Let's get some more wheat and see if these guys are feeling up to breeding. And we might see if we can get another chicken. Alright, so yes, you are. So you can see that the adult ones are quicker to rebreed than the babies are to grow. So now we'll have five. Now, it's a good amount. Let's see. Now, eggs, I believe, have one in eight chance of hatching a chicken. And to hatch an egg, you simply right click, which throws it. Oh, there we go. Wow, that egg had four chickens. I'm speechless. I don't think we can top that. I think with four chickens from one egg, a quadruple yoker, we will finish our episode. My name is Ellipse. This is Down Under, a Minecraft tutorial and let's play. Have a great day. See you next time.